What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be unboxing and hanging up these posters that I've been working on for the past few weeks. These are reprints or recreations of promo posters of my favorite albums of all time. Let's go ahead and get started. So sorry in advance if this is not the most sophisticated setup you've ever seen for an unboxing. This is the very first time that I've ever done one. Uh, and I think that may be painfully obvious. But let's go ahead and get these out. I have no idea what order these are going to be in, uh, but there is an order that is, that is going to be specific to what I put up on the wall. Okay? All right. All right. So, I'm going to grab the stack here, turn this around. Oh, this is beautiful. Very, very nice. Okay. So, right here, very verse one. Let me make sure that you can see this in its entirety. Okay, maybe not in its entirety, but... But, you know, you get the, the basic idea of it. So this is The Sundays, Static and Silence. Definitely one of my favorite albums from the 90s. Here we go. Uh, one of my favorites from the early 2000s, Avril Lavigne. So this one, actually, let me go back to this real quick. So this is an actual recreation of a, uh, I believe it was a magazine ad. There may have been a poster uh, for this one. I'm not sure if there was, but I couldn't find the... I couldn't find a, a, a huge quality, uh, a, a, sorry, a large resolution version of it. So what I did was I just I just recreated it as closely as I could. What I did with uh, here was I masked out this moon, and then I put a gradient in the background, and then added some effects on top of it that just kind of blended it all together. So I think that that came out looking beautiful. Uh, this one here is a combination of a couple of different ones. I wasn't able to find a large quality um, of the of, of any of the posters uh, that were that was out for this album so I just kind of combined a few things together here so Avril Lavigne let go and this really ha I didn't even, this is kind of unexpected I didn't I didn't expect this but there's this there's almost this really satin type of finish to it it's really cool okay uh, Weird Al Yankovic running with scissors this one also did not exist um, it, 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 at least in the wording that's on here. So we've got the album cover here, and then where it says the new album. Huh? You like that? I actually came up with that myself. I'm pretty, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. And then right here it says available on CD and cassette and 8-track, and then there's an asterisk there that says, not really. <laughs> uh, Lord Pure Heroin. This one really looks beautiful. I wish you could see the finish on it, but man, it's really nice. Uh, th that, that finish is just beautiful. So this right here, um, if you're familiar with the promo poster that came out for this album, this image was actually a different image, but I wasn't able to find a large version of the image that is on the official poster. Uh, definitely also uh, one of my favorite albums of the mid 2000s is uh, Jojo's uh, The High Road. Uh, if you're into R&B, which I'm not really into uh, that that into R&B, um, but I really do love this album a lot. There's a lot of a lot of great songs on here. The production on it is uh, just about as flawless as you can get, um, especially for a, a, a 2000s pop record that definitely leans uh, heavier into R&B. So very very nice. This also doesn't uh, officially exist. Um, I couldn't actually find one. That did exist for it so I just created my own and I thought that this this image uh, right here is actually from um, the promo set for the album The High Road. I wanted to use something different from the official album cover photo. Alright for all of you Jenny Lewis fans out there, Rilo Kylie Under the Black Light. Uh, this one this one looks really nice. The finish uh, is, is really really nice. I was able to find a very uh, a pretty uh, good size image for this. I did have to recreate this though, the Rilo Kylie on the top. I wasn't able to, um, I wasn't able to find a large version of that type right there. So I tried to get it as close to under the black light as I could. And then down here we've got the information on the album itself. Um, so Deserta, uh, Black Aura, My Son. Uh, this is also, I don't think that an official poster for this exists. Uh, so I just decided to make one uh, using the the album cover, one of the one of the best shoegaze, shoegaze albums that came out in 2020, at least in my opinion. So Deserta, 
Black Aura, My Son, and then the release date. Look at that. I believe that was 117 of 20. Uh, tallies right here. Also, a um, th th they're a little bit more like uh, on the Dream Pop side, so they're kind of like a new version of the Sundays. Um, really, really good stuff here. And also, uh, not an official uh, poster, so I just decided to create it using... Um, using the largest uh, image possible that I could use, or that I could find. Uh, another Jenny Lewis one, I kind of cheated a little bit. I wanted to say that I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any um, any repeats. Um, however, I don't really consider it a repeat. This is a solo album, uh, and then Rallo Kylie is her band. So uh, if you're not familiar with this album, it is fantastic. Definitely give it a listen. Jenny Lewis, The Voyager. Uh, also, okay, so this is one of my one of uh, one of my favorites, one of my most listened to albums. Um, I actually would say I, I probably listen to at least segments of this album on a daily basis, um, and I it's usually my go-to when I'm falling asleep at night or taking naps. Uh, this is Astro Bright, All the Stars Will Fall, and again, this is not um, this is not based on an official poster uh, for the release of the album. Uh, I just I just made it up, so and I wasn't able to find a, a too large of an image, so just so I really had to blow it up a lot. So I applied some effects here that you know kind of hid some of those artifacts when you enlarge an image. Here we go, man. This this turned out beautiful. Tool lateralis. Um, so this is based on a few different ones that I was able to find um, in kind of trying to combine some of the elements of the uh, of the posters that, that did exist. There's a, a few things here, I'm just trying to get these off. So we got Tool at the top, um, and I'm actually really surprised. So I did like a 95% opacity right here, and um, you actually can see, if you look close uh, close enough, you can see this pattern that's in the background. So I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised and uh, happy that that came out. So this says over 79 music, uh, ever over 79 minutes of new Tool music featuring Schism, uh, May 15th, 2001. <clears throat> Definitely one of the most important albums in my life, especially during that time. I was uh, almost 18 uh, when this came out, and my gosh, I I'll never forget the first time I heard this album. Charlie Bliss, Guppy, one of my favorite uh, current bands. Uh, they are fantastic. Um, if you're really into like 90s, 90s grunge, uh, they're actually classified as like bubble grunge. Uh, people laugh at me when I say that, but it is it is actually a, uh, a genre of music, a subgenre of grunge. Um, so it's, it's really good stuff. Uh, this album sounds like it was recorded in the 90s. Um, and then released 20 years later. So fantastic album there. And then Michelle Tombs, uh, this is actually, um, I had to entirely recreate this because I did have a promo for this album that was very similar to this poster. Um, this is, uh, she's a Christian artist and she's, she's kind of like a Christian version of Inya. Um, I love all of her albums that she's done, but this album specifically is just beautiful. But I had, to, I had to find out what all of these fonts were, and then I meticulously recreated everything that is on the album cover. And then on the album cover itself, I just took all of that information off and just left the image here. And I think it looks really cool. Um, that Sparrow Records there looks really good, and the enlargement on the photo of her looks excellent. All right, so that is the first package. Let me make sure, yep, I'm still recording, good. <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm not blowing my only shot at unboxing and showing you these. <clears throat> all right. All right, so this is actually going to be a set, um, uh, the Oasis one here. So, um, Oasis, What's the Story, Morning Glory is my second favorite album of all time. The first one is Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness, which is already up on the wall. That one is the Smashing Pumpkins, just in case you don't know. So, got Oasis and then Morning Glory out, 10 to 95. So, this is a combination of two different ads uh, that were for this, uh, for this album. 
what they did was they had Oasis and then they had What's the Story on one poster with uh, Noel Gallagher and the other one with Liam Gallagher that said Morning Glory. And that one did not have the release date. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to combine the two concepts together and I, uh, and I want to have them um, right next to each other on the wall. So there's that one. Uh, one, definitely one of my favorite albums from uh, when I was young. Uh, I think I was yeah I was six years old when this album came out, and my gosh, like first time I first time I heard this song and saw this music video, I I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation. I was able to find an ad. I don't know if it was a poster or if it was a magazine ad um, for this, but I was able to recreate everything. I wasn't exact. I wasn't able to find the exact font for this, but I got it pretty dang close. And then all of this illiteracy, no, ignorance, no, bigotry, no, prejudice, no. Um, you know, the whole album is, is themed around, you know, no prejudice and no bigotry and, you know, just uh, like uh, all coming together through the power of music. And I, I think that's beautiful. And it's just an awesome, awesome album from front to back. There's nothing on it that's boring. It never gets bad at any point. And man, the finish on here is just beautiful. On, on these black and white ones are particularly looking great. All right, Green Day Insomniac. Uh, this one here is based on um, one uh, that was um, that I was able to find. I wasn't able to, I don't think I was able to find an official uh, release uh, poster for this album. So I just kind of threw one together based on a poster that was out at the time. So Green Day Insomniac. This is definitely, without a doubt, my favorite Green Day album. Then it says it includes Gig Stink Breath and stores October 10th. The only re the reason that I included only Gig Stink, Geek Stink Breath there is because that was the first uh, single that was released before the album actually came out. So it makes sense that only that one would be on the poster. All right, Slow Dive. Uh, this one here, Slow Dive across the top. The album cover enlarged all the way across. And then just for a day, this says LP, Master Cassette, and CD. And I've always loved this album cover, and I want to flip it around just to get a good look at it. Man, that's just beautiful. And from what I was able to find, this is an actual uh, poster that they put out uh, for it, or at least a print ad, but it's exactly, it's uh, created exactly. All right, That Dog, A Retreat from the Sun. I tried to get the, t the type off right here, uh, the top and the bottom, and I just couldn't get it to where it was looking good. So I just decided to leave it as is. Um, you know, it, it's not like, it's not like there was an exact, um, version of this uh, available. There was no official ad for it, um, as far as the poster goes that I was able to find. So I just recreated this. So that dog, the new album featuring the singles, Never Say Never in Minneapolis. Um, I can't tell you how much I listened to this album when I was, uh, probably 14, 15, like around that time. And then I also recreated this vector artwork. Uh, that you could see on the uh, on the CD itself. All right, this one, the uh, Savage Garden, in my opinion, one of the most underrated albums of the '90s, um, and I'm very very happy with how this uh, turned out. I was kind of nervous about this because this uh, text and artwork was bleeding all the way to the edge, and it looks like they cut it exactly where I want them to cut it. Uh, major props uh, to Short Run Posters. Um, so Savage Garden, and uh, it's got all of the information on here. And what I wanted to do, and I did this with all of them, I wanted to make sure that the text actually bled into the rest of the artwork. It's really difficult to see it on camera, uh, but it's easy to see it uh, in person. Um, it doesn't look like you know there's clean text just sitting on top of the poster. It looks like it's actually part of the poster itself. So um, if, if you miss this one, in the 90s, definitely go back and listen to that. All right, here's the other one. Uh, o Oasis, what's the story? And then there's Noel Gallagher, uh, the back of his head. <laughs> and then the release date as well. So those will be next to each other on the wall. All right, I was also kind of nervous about this one. Let's see how it turned out. Man, it turned out great. All right, so The Cure, Disintegration. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with this album, um, stop this video and go listen to this unbelievable album. Uh, th this this is one of those albums that you only dream about. Um, just incredible. The first time I heard it, I you know, th I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. So The Cure Disintegration uh, and the original poster for it was just the picture of Robert Smith. I couldn't find a nice quality, lar uh, like large, uh, good quality 
of this image. And I think that this image was only used for the promo poster, but I found the largest one that I could and enlarged it and applied some effects on top of it to make it look a little bit more aged. So I think it turned out really, really, really nice. All right, uh, I'm an enormous Enigma fan. So um, I decided to create uh, this right here and I used um, this quote uh, from, uh, from an actual critic that re uh, reviewed the album at the time. Um, and I'll just, I, I can just read it real quick. With its backgrounds, uh, with its background sounds that make you feel like you're drifting in hyperspace, the track is defined by its rich New Age-like orchestral sound and its solemn religious chanting, not by a specific melody or hook. That's, that, that's pretty awesome, actually. So what I did here, it's kind of hard to see, or it may be kind of hard to see. Here's the album cover. This is a vectorized version that I did about a year ago, and man, that took a lot of work, <laughs> uh, but I wanted it to look as good as possible because um, I, I actually had it put on a t-shirt and this time I used it on the poster. So it recreated this as well and then also the title. And then in the background, I don't know if you can see this, but in the background it's like ruins of like an old, um, like an old church or an old monastery, which perfectly ties into the rest of the album. All right, Weezer's Blue album. This right here is one of the most important albums for me personally. I th This is the very first album that I ever bought with my own money uh, at the store. And I did find an official uh, poster of this and there is no release date. There's no information about the singles. It is literally just the boys right there, that, um, that Geffen Records logo, and then the Weezer uh, typography at the top that mimics the album in that plain blue background. So I just recreated it exactly like it is. All right, Tears for Fears, my favorite band overall. Uh, and this is my favorite album by my favorite band. And this one uh, here, I was able to recreate this exactly um, the way that this ad was. I was able to find uh, the poster for it, found the largest image of the album cover that I could, and then just recreated uh, everything. So, and man, that's beautiful. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, my Bloody Valentine, Loveless. Okay, so this is actually the poster that started this entire project. I saw this posted on, uh, I saw this posted on a My Bloody Valentine subreddit. And as soon as I saw it, I said, well, I'm definitely gonna recreate this. And at the time, I didn't know what I was gonna do with it. I just knew I was gonna recreate it. So, My Bloody Valentine, Loveless. And I love this right here. They invented it. All you have to do is listen to it. Man, I just, I just love that. You know, this was the, this was the game changer for the shoe, uh, for the shoegaze genre. And then they didn't put anything out for another 22 years. <laughs> so, um, and and that album was absolutely incredible. So, um, recreated version of My Bloody Valentine's Loveless. And then, quite possibly, the most important album in my entire life, uh, Michael Jackson's Bad. So this particular, um, this particular version or aesthetic of uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, this entire thing doesn't actually exist. This is a combination of several different ads that I, that I was able to find. So I found a Japanese ad that all it said was bad in this exact typeface right here. And that's all it said. It was bad and it said the new album. Didn't have a picture of Michael or anything, but I figure for me, like I have always loved this album and this album cover. So I wanted to do something that actually utilized the album cover itself. So I did the, I slapped a bad across the album cover toward the bottom and then did this really cool overlay where you can see through uh, bad as if it were kind of like spray painted over him. And then Epic Records up here at the top and then just, it just says new album, 831.87. Notice it doesn't say Michael Jackson anywhere. And the reason why I left his name off is because at the time, and even now, you don't even need the word Michael Jackson <laughs> uh, on this. You, you know, like that, that's, that's all you need. Just put bad and the new album and that's it. It perfectly communicates the message. All right, well, let's get these hung up. One more thing I forgot to mention before I get started. I'm using these Velcro dots uh, right here that I got from Amazon, just in case you want to do the same thing. So the posters have a foam core backing on them. And because they're going on a slanted wall, I want to make sure, wanted to make sure that they were flat, they were nice and solid, and being held up by something nice and sturdy. So I chose these Velcro dots here. 
this is what the box looks like just in case you want to just in case you want to do the same thing on your wall all right as you can see the melancholy poster is already up so now all i have to do is put up the rest and i've got the plan pulled up over there on the computer so let's get started Well, here it is, the entire poster wall. It took me about 45 minutes total, so that's about 15 minutes per row. But man, I love this so much. My friend Daniel, when he comes over, is gonna say, dude, this looks like a record store, which is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to hear him say it. Yeah, buddy, I love it. Now, I just gotta figure out what to do with this wall, because this one is completely blank, I gotta figure out something to do over there. Well, thanks a lot for watching me unbox and put all of these posters up. I think it looks awesome. I gotta figure out what to do with the wall behind me. I kinda have an idea, but if you have any ideas, please drop them in the comments below. Um, this, uh, this was a very fun project. I came up with this idea about two or three weeks ago, and I think that I am just gonna love it, and you know, we don't plan on moving ever so these are going to be up for a very very long time now just got to figure out what to do over there so if you have any comments or if you have any ideas please drop them in the comments i think i said that already but sorry um okay well thank you so much for watching and uh if you like this video please give it a like and hit subscribe and um, i'll try to do some more videos like this even though i don't have a lot of wall space to do a lot um but i'll see what i can come up with all right well thanks for watching and have a great day Bye bye